Hi guys, um, got a video for you here. We're going to do the first of a set of Guild Wars 2 builds to help you with leveling and so on. If you're having problems putting together a good build or you want some advice or you just want to try something a bit different, um, I've put together these builds that should help you out. And what I'll do is I'll load everything on using this uh, uh, skill builder or this calculator and then um, I'll give you some information on like why it works well and uh, it, basically how to use it, how to use the build. So this will end up being a level 80 build and I know that people say well you know obviously you're starting off at level 1 but I will get round to doing some builds um, which actually help you level step by step but if you just sort of view this um, as what you're trying to aim for um, when you're trying to level up and so on. So um, the, the first we're going to do is on your um, primary weapon we're going to pick greatsword and for your secondary weapon we're going to pick longbow and then for your underwater weapon you're going to have spear okay now what we're going to do as I say is I'm just going to load in the uh, the signets and so on so you can see them and then uh, you know I'll give you some information about why they work so well so what we're going to have here is healing signet um, we're just going to change this one here to healing surge and what you want um, next here is signet of might number eight you could put signet of fury you don't have to follow these exactly by the way these this is just a build that's working well um, for me and um, that you can use you want um, dalyuk signet on nine and over here we're going to have um, signet of rage okay now I'm just going to load on the like the skill attributes and so on so you can see how this works. Um, well some information about the actual your weapon setup um, and how to use it. Basically you've got your greatsword. It will be the main source of single target damage and short range area of effect attacks. Um, it basically outscales nearly every other weapon in that capacity and when you've got like more than one enemy um, basically if you position them so that the hundred blades will hit both of them you can use it well in groups and you can use your longbow for events and multiple enemy enemies because that's got good AOE skills as well and remember to use your burst skill before you use arching arrow as they combo off each other as well so that's a bit of information about how to use it not so much of a rotation just a bit of information there um, so I'll, I'll load these on you want to end up with uh, 25 in strength 25 in arms 20 in defense and we're just going to add deep strike on there we're going to add forceful greatsword there and for defense Embrace the pain and sundering mace. So there you have it. There's the actual build. Um, I'll just give you some information about the signets and so on. You've got healing signet. Um, that's basically the most superior healing ability for solo play. You've got loads of healing there and it happens passively over the course of a fight as well. And the only exception to bear in mind with the healing signets is it won't work underwater or, or the regen effect won't work at all. Um, you can change or adapt your utilities depending on what combat situations you're in. But in general, the setup that I've got here I've found to be the most effective. You've got signet of might. Basically this improves your power and you can activate it to give you further power via might. You've got signet of fury and that that gives you precision the higher your crit chance the better chance you have to let off some really devastating hundred blades 
and it can be activated to give you a full adrenaline bar as well. You've got Dolyuk Signet, and this is basically some damage reduction. Basically, as you level, obviously the mobs hit harder, so this works well to get the damage off. And you can save the activation for the times when you run into mobs that try and chain CC you as well. Um, you've got Signet of Rage. That is a good elite skill for all situations. More power and crit for damage. And a speed boost um, on a minute CD. And you can replace it with a ra racial ability if you prefer. Now the traits that I've put on here. You've got arms. Um, you want to fill that out as I've done. It gives you increased critical chance and condition damage. And you've also got a few slot skills to increase your crit chance and damage even more. You've got your strength, um, strength tree. And basically that increases your power and condition duration. You get good fort uh, fortitude and slashing power. And you get more vitality and power. So you, the higher your base power goes. And defense is the final tree you want to fill out. Gives you some more survivability. Embrace the pain and last stand are really the only good traits to choose but the passive boost of health regen based on your adrenaline level is well worth having and it's too good to pass up so there you have it that's obviously going to have to be level 80 for that build but that's what you want to end up with with the warrior give that a go let me know what you think and i will keep the builds coming okay guys cheers